everyone, it's Giselle here with a reading. I haven't done one of these for a while, but I thought today is a good day to have a reading. And um, this is with energy, advice and universal guidance for both the feminine and the masculine. They may even intertwine depending on, you know, where in your journey you are. You may identify with both. Um, so let's make a start. Let's have a look at the cards for the feminine. First card is a colour therapy and the colour for this um, reading is Cherry, Live an Extra... I can't get my words out, <laughs> that's a good start. Live an Extraordinary Life and the feminine is encouraged to really focus on her life, her dream life and not wallow in the sadness that we sometimes feel. Um, I know that some feminines have come to me feeling really empowered where others have been feeling really like they are missing their beloveds. This is encouraging us to step in that power of being empowered and to not feel like we are missing out or um, unable to live the life that we want just because on the physical plane we are not together yet because spiritually we are together and we need to remember that we need to make the most of our life now and if there's anything that we're putting off this is saying do not put anything off and do it right now because you this is a good time a very empowering time I feel for the feminine to just create her dream life um the card for the masculine is Auburn, ground yourself. What I feel this card is telling the masculine is to really strengthen their foundation. I feel it's to do with the base chakra. Um, things may be a little bit wobbly for the masculine, feeling a little bit unstable and like they don't have that firm foundation that they need in order to feel safe, to feel balanced and grounded and just your basic needs of feeling protected um so that's what the, the masculine really needs to focus on is also knowing that that power of feeling grounded and feeling protected and safe is within themselves and they don't need to need to look externally to have that but they may have to influence certain external factors to get that in their life the next card and some of these have duplicate well not duplicate cards but multiple cards from a certain deck have fallen out and i've had to include them um we'll see as we go along now so the next card for the feminine is Puss in Boots, Wit, and this is saying to the feminine, you are charismatic and charming and you have to use that to your advantage with whatever it is that you want to get in life. Have your wits about you. We'll just progress through this reading. I'll see what more comes through for that. The card for the masculine is the... Day boy and the night girl balance. So that ties in with this card where there is a need for balance, a firm foundation. This is being shown here. Um, I also find some masculines are quite sensitive to moon cycles, where especially the full moon will affect them. Um, where they feel either liberated or prohibited from speaking their truth, depending on what cycle we're on but this is calling them to balance themselves so that they don't get so impacted and, and don't imbalance themselves because of it the next card for the feminine is snake princess the serpentine path to power so with this it's once i feel there is a theme for the feminine um you know, with regards to using your power and knowing that you are powerful. The first card was encouraging you to um, build an extraordinary life and create that out of yourself without the need to feel like you need anyone to do so because you can create it all by yourself. 
But do not forget that also the spirit uh, of your beloved is always with you to help you along the path. So what essentially you are creating it together. But you must also know that you have the power to drive this and you don't need to hold back or wait for anybody. I feel like we are maybe having a theme throughout this reading for each of the divine counterparts. Uh, the next... Oh. Next card for the masculine is Snow White and her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence. So not only do you inspire trust and confidence in other people, you inspire this within yourself and this is the universe calling to you. Like she's sitting on the ground here, grounding herself with the animals, with nature. Inspire that trust and confidence within yourself as well. Two cards actually came out for the masculine. So the next one from this deck is Wolf Moon. I will watch over you. And I feel what this card represents in this particular reading is the fact that even if the masculine is being distant or being quiet or not very, like they may not even be a proof that they are around, they are always watching over their feminine and this could even indicate um, watching on social media from a distance, not making themselves known because the moon also indicates mystery and secrecy. Um, but it is a way of saying, look, I am still here and I am in interested and still looking at you so I just need to find my place of grounding so I feel safe confident and at the right level of success I suppose to come forward without feeling constrained or lacking the next card for the feminine is fairy of the green world the natural world needs you and what I feel this card expresses is that the feminine can use nature to her advantage to create um, her dream life. You know, when you're feeling out of balance or a bit shaky, go outside, meditate in nature, sit by a tree and feel it's... I feel trees have healing powers and also this is a green, very dominantly green card, which I feel is... The heart chakra, um, heart center, using that to create, you know, when you do create through prayer or um, putting it into the universe or even through rituals, whatever suits you, create from your heart and not from your head. And there is hints of blue, which would be indicating speak your truth, the throat chakra elements, communication, communicate your truth so that it comes to you clearly. The next card for the masculine is death and the maiden, invasion, boundaries, violated dominance. What I feel this card represents is a rebirth. I don't feel it's quite as... Mm. this card just has a weird eerie feel to it I don't feel it's quite like that it's more like a rebirth it actually very much links into dreams that I've had regarding death not actual death death you know what I mean but a, f um, a rebirthing of my masculine which also ties in with other masculines I'm sure because a lot of us who are drawn to each other on this journey are going through very similar things and I've dreamt, was it a couple nights ago, a very significant, like everything, a lot of people in my family, my divine masculine, <laughs> just hearing about deaths, but then being able to connect with them still and talking to them like they'd never even gone. It was a very weird dream. But anyway, what I feel the message from that dream was for me is that they are creating a rebirth and going through a rebirth in their life and the old what we used to know is dying off and we can make room for the new which is a new relationship a new way of communicating and a new way of coming together and moving forward together you know, sometimes dreams are very tricky and I know that people come to me um, not just to get their readings but also for dream interpretation, which I don't actually list that on my 
services as something that I offer. But since so many people have actually started to come to me for that now, I guess it is part of what I do. So, <laughs> so if you do get a reading and you wanted to check out a, a weird dream, uh, give me a go. I'll see what I can pick up for you. I'm more than happy to help. Because I know tri dreams can be really tricky. And I used to have such a hard time interpreting my own. But as time goes on and I, I be became more intuitive and developed my empathy and, and all my other skills, I'm able to decipher them pretty much as I wake up in the morning going, haha, that's what that means. I know now what I have to do. It's funny how they speak to me through dreams very, very much. Um, the next card for the feminine is Sacrifice. Um, gosh, what a sad looking card. So this is Renunciation, Offering, Letting Go. These cards are so sad. <laughs> Whoever made these, I, I can't remember the... The author and the the artist. I'll have to look up in the books who they're from, but my goodness, you know, oh God, I feel so sad when I look at them. Anyway, what I feel this card represents, and it's again not as dark as this card is. Just like in my dream, everybody dying. The meaning of the dream itself is not as dark as that, you know, because people are fine basically. Um, but what this means is us letting go in a way that. <sighs> Giving it up to the universe and trusting the universe to give us what we need. Because when we are in a state, you know, I, I often advise my clients to write down what it is that they want. And then they need to release that, not just be thinking, I want this, I want this, please give it to me. No, once you've written it down, trust that the universe has heard you and then let it go. And this is what I feel this card represents, is being able to release your innermost desires and knowing that things are being worked out in the background so that you may receive it on the physical plane. Two cards came out for the feminine, so the next one from this deck is Death Rites. Good lord, e you know, <laughs> so many cards surrounding death in this reading. I guess it is very much in keeping with that dream that I had. I'm sure it was only the other night. It wasn't last night, but it was the night before. I can't quite remember what I was dreaming about last night, actually. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, the death dream. Um, I feel these cards follow that along very strongly, which is quite crazy thinking about it because, you know, I just I just get them blindly. I, I shuffle my deck and I ask for whatever needs to come out, but I don't see the cards because they're all like flipped over like this and then I shuffle and they fall out, sometimes two fall out, which is what happens with the feminine deck and I had to, you know, get both messages out. But yeah, so many cards are relating death. It's crazy. So this one, it says, saying goodbye, formal occasion, home, oh, sorry, hon <clears throat> honouring lives. So what I feel, this is saying goodbye to the old, saying goodbye to that which has passed, which is our past with our beloveds, our past with our you know, maybe our jobs. I know a lot of my clients have come to me because they feel like their jobs are no longer suiting them. Like their jobs are basically telling them through being very irritating and not fulfilling anymore that, you know, it's time to go and move on to something better. Something that is meant for your soul path to growth and not just make money and come home and be miserable because that's not what we came here for. We came here to do so much more. So this card indicates that if something in your life feels like this, this little poor skeleton, um, that you have to let go of it and allow it to, to be released so that you can make room for something more amazing. Next uh, card for the masculine is nightmare okay psychic protection shield bad dreams um what i feel this card represents for the beloveds is that they need to continue on you know they need to keep riding their horse they need to com continue taking action even if it feels like they are living a nightmare at the moment, that things are hidden from them and unclear. They need to keep on riding until they get to their 
sorry, my fingers in the way. I'm getting a little bit of a hand cramp. Keep on riding until they reach their destination. Um, which will be a much better situation, basically. So it's like the caterpillar that's in the cocoon, isn't it? It's dying. It's going through that nightmare. It's probably going through an internal hell going, oh my God, how am I going to make it through this? But it has to push on if it wants to come out on the other side and become the beautiful butterfly that it knows it can be. Next card. Oh, just one moment. Ow. I still haven't found a comfortable way of holding my uh, my phone. Okay, next card for the feminine is Mermaid with Butterflies. This card, I feel... I haven't had a look in the book, actually, but the way that I would intuit this is creating, because butterflies and... This beautiful colors, um, they remind me of springtime and springtime is a time of creation of new life, um, flowers being coming, you know, blooming and new um, birds being born, um, hatching out of their eggs and just new life coming forth from the earth. And this is once more, I feel, in keeping with our message to create the life of our dreams, to create the reality that we would prefer to see in our lives and push through the difficulties no matter how hard it may seem at times. The card for the masculine is... Uh... Trillo? I don't know. Ugh, sometimes I have trouble reading these fonts. Sorry if I mispronounced that one. But uh, what I feel this one is, is the masculine being urged to move forward, to progress, not to stay stagnant or procrastinate. This, I feel, is a card indicating action and fast movement. So they're being urged to push through, you know, to continue on in their chrysalis, like with the previous card, and to come out, to be encouraged. You will be a butterfly, you can come out, you can do it. Card for the feminine from this, oh, two came out as well. First one that came out is Sacrifice. There are those worth making, and there are those that will destroy you. What I feel this card is indicating is for the feminine to have her boundaries and to stick to those and to understand that having boundaries is fine because I feel sometimes the feminine wants to sacrifice too much, wants to give too much and doesn't receive equally, whether that's in work or family or whatever, even maybe in your romantic life where you feel like you're just too giving, too nurturing, but then there needs to be that balance where you are not being drained. I know someone asked me for some ritual advice recently and they said, can I give my energy so that my beloved feels better? To which I would advise, don't give your personal energy, but use the universal energy. Because if you give out your personal and you give too much of yourself then you will be depleted and you will not be equally receiving, which eventually starts to feel like you're being taken advantage of, which could result in resentment, and you don't want that to happen either. The next card that came out from this deck from the feminine is the magic of the Cahelen Druid. Caution, secrecy, wary. Hmm. Okay, so how I feel this card, um, what I feel it represents for this reading is that things that have been hidden from you will come to the surface very soon, whether that's communication with your beloved or something to do with your job, um, things that you've been wanting to uncover but just haven't been able to do. I feel this represents that. 
the things coming to the surface. Next card for the masculine is guide. A guide, mentor, trustworthy ally. I feel that this represents the two beloveds, so the masculine and the feminine, um, working together on the spiritual plane, guiding the masculine on the physical plane. Even though he may not 100% realize what's going on, it is his beloved spirit that works with him because ultimately we are one. We are not separate from each other. And they are starting to feel that connection and that magnetism of, I am being carried, but I just may be not sure how or why or by whom. Okay, next card for the feminine is prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. I would say this card is encouraging us that not only money prosperity, but I would say prosperity in other areas of your life, in love, in um, happiness, fulfillment. You know, it's not just material. I mean, great that you're getting um, money coming in too. But what this is saying, and have a look at the bottom line here, saying manage your finances with love. So I would also say manage your manifestations with love. Create from the heart. And that is the key to truly getting your momentum built and your manifestations built up. If you create from your head, trying to put so much mind power behind things, A, you'll struggle, get really exhausted, and also you'll have too much opportunity for doubts and fears to overrule your head, whereas your heart is pure. Your heart can create much more easily, and creating through love is such a powerful way of creating. And also, a little tip, when you're paying your bills, rather than feeling, oh my god, I've got to pay another bill, pay it with love. Say, thank you, universe, for giving me the opportunity to show that I have enough money to pay off this bill and please send me some more so I can pay off more bills and, you know, enjoy life more and other things. And that will make you feel so much more at ease with little tasks like paying bills. The card for the masculine is rebirth. How well, I said it. <laughs> it keeps coming up. It's either death or, well, death that represents rebirth. And this is certainly the theme of this reading, certainly for masculines coming through rebirth, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams and create your reality. So the masculine is encouraged to, I feel this is a color of the sacral chakra, create, give birth to what it is that you actually wanting. You have been restricting yourself for far too long, thinking that maybe you couldn't get the job that you wanted, maybe not get the family situation you wanted, maybe you thought you couldn't get with the person of your dreams. Well, guess what? You can. The universe is 100% behind you. Allow your dreams to form and then give birth to that. Rebirth yourself. Shed your old skin and let yourself come out as this new, empowered, magnificent, divine masculine that you are have always been. Come out of your cocoon and be born. Fly and be free and have the life that you want. Okay, next card for the feminine is free from judgment, free to love. And this is a reminder for the feminine to not be so harsh on herself, I feel. Because while so many feminines are coming to me feeling really empowered and feeling really in control of their lives, there are still aspects that come through, particularly particularly to do with self-love, with the way they see themselves. When they look in the mirror, they're like, oh no, I need to lose weight, I need to this, I need to that. This is telling you, please, to fully take advantage of your manifestation power that you currently have so strongly in your energy love yourself enough to not say these harsh things and to accept yourself fully for 
the beautiful person that you are right now, not when you've finished your diet or not when you've done this or that. Right now. Card for the masculine. Be the hunter, not the hunted. And this falls in line with their rebirth. It falls in line with their death cards. It's saying... You've been feeling like you're the hunted for too long. Change that around. Take control of your life and become the hunter. No longer feel like you are being stalked or that you're the prey. You are the one in the driving seat and you can and will have everything that you want. Everything. Okay, next card for the feminine. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colours of your soul. So this is saying to the feminine that you can express, whether that's through your job or through your family situation or even just through expressing that to your beloved, whether that's in the physical or on the spiritual plane. You have the courage to express that now. So take action. Card for the masculine. Empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. And I feel that this falls in line with the masculine. They do know what's going on with the feminine. It's just that maybe they cannot express that because it's an uncomfortable thing. But I feel that they... They're always there. They're always there helping us and guiding. And they have a very strong connection. Like, it's not one-sided. You you know, some feminines come to me and say, I can feel them and I can sense that they're unhappy, but I feel it's all one-sided and I'm the only one feeling. I don't feel that's the case. I feel that the masculine, just like you can pick things up, they can pick things up too. Next card for the feminine is... Unity, hibiscus. You're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Use a sacred bond to heal your family, friends and yourself. Again, urging the feminine to use her creative powers to heal, to transform not only her life, but for those around her. Card for the masculine. Cleanse your energy. African violet. When you release negativity, the answer to your questions shines through. This is again falling perfectly in line with the masculine shedding his old skin releasing that negativity and coming out, rising out of the ashes like the phoenix and embracing their truth. Oh, okay. I think, yeah, these are the last, the final messages from the universe for each of us. For the feminine, it is get some rest. <laughs> actually, this is actually quite, apt for me because I need I've been feeling quite tired for the past few days even though I should be feeling invigorated like oh well I finished all my exams and I can catch up on my work I'm just I am quite for the past few mornings needed an extra hour or two to just feel fully rested um and I guess it's because as feminines throughout this reading um we have been trying to create so much, but now the universe is saying, you've done the work, give it to us, give it to the universe, and we will take care of the rest, and you just put your feet up and get some rest. Don't overgive. don't give too much of yourself. You need to take care of you right now as well. And the final message for our beloved, ow, sorry, oh gosh, final message for our beloveds <laughs> from the universe is... Courage. And how perfect that it's the colour um, 
lilac, which correlates with the um, upper chakras, you know, the the crown. So this is urging the masculine to have the courage to become that butterfly that they know they are. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you would like to get a reading from me, I'm available. Um, well, you can arrange an appointment, just, just contact me. Um, yeah, all the details are in the description to my website. My readings are not with these cards. I just use my empathic abilities to tune in to your situation. But if you want to read more about how I work, I've done a few videos about that and I've linked it uh, on my website. I've written up a little post about how I work. So you are more than welcome. And thank you all um, to my loyal clients who've been with me for so long now. Um, thank you all for helping, well, allow me to help you, but also helping me on this journey because through doing readings for you, I gain a lot of insight um, that I otherwise may not have had as well. And um, I would also like to welcome anybody new. If you feel drawn to me, then I would be very happy to help you out. But trust your intuition. And if you feel that I could help you, then great. If you just like to tune in for these readings, then that's what I do them for. I would, you know, love for you to watch them and share them and take advantage. And if they do help you, then that's awesome. So thank you all for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.